So not only do we have like that primary impact, now you have secondary injuries or secondary impacts, things like that from just flying objects. Yeah, I'll bet it didn't feel like a slow roll when you were inside it. But uh, fortunately with, with takeoff and landing, they do want you to have laptops and everything put away. You can have small handheld devices out and that's why they have that rule. There are some interesting videos that I've seen of in-flight turbulence particularly during like a meal service where the turbulence hits so hard that the, the food cart goes up and then comes down on top of people. And there've been some pretty serious injuries related to those types of things. Um, but uh, yeah, I would, I would also expect that there could be, particularly if you're looking at a smaller plane, that's not going to have the regulations of locking everything up during takeoff and landing. You might even have a dog sitting in the compartment that might be flying mm. around during a, during a crash and cause an impact as well, you know, plus luggage. So there could be a lot of primary and secondary injuries from that sort of incident. And like when I flew just recently, Matthew, like we were taken off and he, I did a quick overview of the instruments, things like that. Like this is what we're looking for, for this instrument. Like you write RPMs. This is, you know, just kind of a quick overview of the cockpit. It was like, if you see anything wrong, this is, we're not joking this time. Like something happens, like I want you to speak up. If you see something off, let me know. Uh, no, no jokes. And I was like, okay, like, I mean, fair enough. That's both of our lives are in, in danger. We're going to be the first ones there uh, to the accident. But yeah, it's definitely kind of nerve wracking taking off and landing. But once you're in the air, I feel okay. 